Every Sunday morning beneath the bridge on John Street, people come together to get free food, toiletries, and clothing. Some more people coming. But there's nothing routine about this food giveaway. It's the private and nonprofit sector's answer to the recent controversial cuts in federal SNAP benefits, also known as the food stamp program. Life is not easy. Bernard Jones says the SNAP cuts have sent a wave of fear shooting through this community. But this effort, he says, called Snap Back, is reassuring people who don't have a lot of money that they have not been forgotten. Yes, because it helps the helpless. The Snap Back program was conceived by Joe Calico, founder of the nonprofit Meats Clearinghouse. Partnering up with Alex Pena of Gala Foods and Dr. Monette Ferguson, the head of ABCD, Calico organized this giveaway of groceries. He says the effort is as much a symbolic gesture as it is a practical measure, sending the message that Snap Back will have your back. We want to make sure that people never have to choose between paying the rent, uh, paying the mortgage, paying a doctor bill, or putting food on the table. Calico says the grassroots effort has taken root in Greenwich as well as Bridgeport. Blumenthal, meantime, says the concept is already catching on across the country. Because it represents a powerful answer and rebuke to the inhumanity of the federal government in cutting the SNAP program. This is what ABCD was put here for. We're here to bring community together and serve. Calico is working with Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannam to gear up for April when the SNAP cuts actually go into effect. We want to say thank you to so many people for helping each other. That's what community is about. That's what community is about here in Bridgeport. In each bag of groceries, Calico says, is a measure of reassurance that no current SNAP recipient will be allowed to go hungry. Well, I thank God that I'm here. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. Senator Blumenthal says he will promote the SNAP back program as a national model for dealing with cuts to the federal food stamp program.